Canada has pursued a policy of rapid and endless population growth over the past 50 years. Despite accelerating climate change, housing inflation, increasing congestion and loss of farmland, Canada's economic plans will stimulate population growth beyond the next 100 years. This video illustrates the kinds of farmland losses Ontario will suffer if the current growth policy is extended into the future. The impacts on the quality of life, debt, disposable income, inequality, and government deficits will be substantial and negative. Almost every personal social metric will register steep decline if this 18th century policy is allowed to persist for any part of the 21st century. Massive physical impacts can be seen in the loss of farmland and green space already, but the damage to the interests of Canadians will be affected as well. Between 1976 and 2011, 2.8 million acres, or 18% of Ontario's farmland, is no longer being farmed. Much of this land resource urbanized or converted to some other non-agricultural use, according to Statistics Canada in 2011. This is the amount of land required to feed the City of Toronto's entire population. Total Ontario farmland equals 15,500,000 acres, or 6,300,000 hectares. In 1940, the population was 3.8 million. In 2011, it was 12.9 million, gaining an increase of over 300%. Watch the historic growth of the Greater Toronto Area. Tell your media corporation reporters and editors, as well as your politicians, that paving over Canada is not in the interests of Canadians. Tell your media corporation reporters and editors, as well as your politicians, that paving over Canada is not in the interests of Canadians. <laughs> 